But then in Lagos, Nigeria, when they say there's traffic, they mean traffic. Then when they say there's standstill, there are some things that won't shock you anymore. You just be on the road, you see people flying. You don't have to be shocked. <laughs> Since we do not plan for alcohol, okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Chile here, a girl with another video. I'm sure you guys are wondering why is this girl carrying wine? Okay, this is my wine, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am celebrating my one year in Lagos. Okay, it's not easy to be in this Lagos city. It is not what well, it's not us. I'm going to be talking about my experience in Lagos, Nigeria, and there are so many things to celebrate. Experiencing the half fucking Lagos and experiencing the fun in Lagos. Lagos is a fun city, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today. Stay tuned and cheers. So back to what we we're talking about, my one year in Lagos, Nigeria, okay? <laughs> so you guys, the first I want to talk about is, okay, you know when they say Lagos is stressful? And you're like, ah, stress, stress. What kind of stress are they talking about? The, kind of, the expectations you have, you're gonna have to rethink them. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> because Lagos, Lagos is full. Lagos is filled with surprises. Okay, one of the things I want to talk about that uh, everybody knows, Lagos stands for it's traffic. Okay, Lagos and traffic are like this. In Lagos, Nigeria, you find yourself in traffic. Then you now want to get to the point to see what is actually causing that traffic. You will not find out that it is egg roll. Egg roll is what is causing the traffic. Egg roll. Like how can somebody be in traffic for? Hours and you get to that point, see maybe it's an accident or something happened, and you find out that it is egg roll. Egg roll is causing the traffic. It's okay. I work an eight to five, so there is no day that I'm coming back from work and there's no traffic. But when I mean traffic, I don't mean like I mean compared to other cities, it's it like Enugu. When they are saying there's traffic in Enugu, it's like <laughs> uh, traffic like what kind of traffic are you talking about that like, happens in Enugu but then in Lagos Nigeria when they say there's traffic they mean traffic then when they say there's standstill <laughs> yeah. 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 oh carry your bag and start walking walk it walk it to the office <laughs> because if, the, if when you're saying stand still just carry your bag and be walking because if you end up entering bus my dear my dear <laughs> so lagos and traffic are like best friends there was a time there was a time oh god i was going for an interview you guys and I did not prepare on time. So I was, I left 30 minutes before the time for the interview. And guess what happened, guys? There was traffic. There was traffic. And I was supposed to be there at 5 p.m. for the for the interview. So you can imagine. So imagine, oh God, this is how people lose their opportunities. So my luck that day, the luck I had that day was that the, oh, the boat guy actually knew how to maneuver the streets and stuff like that. So he knew the places to pass in order to get me there on time. Guys, I got there five on the dot. As soon as I got there late, obviously I would have missed it. I would have missed it. See, Lagos is not, if you're going for, if you're going for any important meeting, any important anything that is important, leave your house one and uh, at least an hour before the time at least an hour because you, you cannot expect what to you might be saying ah the, this road is usually free it's a free road there's no traffic on this road that day you're coming and that's when you see traffic that day <laughs> and it will shock you to tell you like indian film okay so the next thing i want to talk about is lagos buses let's see when they say, okay, we know Lagos for their yellow buses and their downfall buses. See, in Lagos, we have downfall buses and then we have downfall buses because the normal downfall buses, you know, yellow buses, you enter, sit down, 
Then the downfall, hmm, downfall. <laughs> Get ready to dance because those kind of bosses, I'm going to show you guys a video. <laughs> like I saw this was club boss, I was like, God, Nikoti this boss. Guys, look at boss in Lagos, Nikoti. Nikoti this thing. So wait again, relax. They go do what I'm saying. They go do this thing. Like how we stop. So people, will, people are riding this kind of bus and you expect passengers to sit down inside. Sit down inside and get to their destination. When you know that, especially when there's now traffic. You know, Lagos buses. You know how all this well, normal like ABC transport kind of buses. It, the seats with the form. You know, when you sit down, your bum bum will just you know, relax into the form. You will enter this bus and then you will see that the seat is made of wood. They just carry plank, big plank, big plank like this and put boom with an iron. So when your bum bum just sits on it, boom. When you just sit on it. Those looks like, look at the plank. They are not aware. They don't, they don't know how yes. possible. The sure grace of God, everything will change in Jesus' name. Amen. I am sorry. Oh, I am sorry. Hey, I see what you see. Now, the worst part is when you are sitting, someone like me that is slim, when you are sitting in between two fat, in between two fat people. Should that English is correct? This person is fat and this person is fat and you're in the middle. And Lagos people, they don't care. They shift at all. They to shift because they've occupied the entire space. One person can carry like two people's space. See, I don't even want to talk too much about this down. So when you're coming to Lagos and you know that you can't afford booking rides every day, <laughs> prepare your mind for down, downfall and downfall buses. Okay? But aside downfall and downfall buses, we also have our BRT buses, which are quite better because most of these BRT buses, they have like air conditions inside and then you can relax and stuff like that. But then... Some of these BRT buses also have skoi skoi. Don't worry, when you come, you will experience it all. <laughs> because there was a time I entered one BRT bus. I was thinking I was enter, I'll enter the air condition. Like I didn't, I didn't really look at it where I didn't like, you know, look at what the inside and all of that. I was wondering why were the windows open. I entered and there was no space. I had to stand till I almost got to my destination. Anyways, that's another story. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about in Lagos is if you're coming to Lagos to find the husband or wife. Most people that are coming to Lagos are actually coming to Lagos for like to look for work, to you know, get in there, see the real world and all of that. But yeah, relationship in Lagos is always different because hmm, how how will I explain? I think this is a topic for another day. Relationship in Lagos is a topic for another day. Because you have those who are catching crews. No, the new thing now is um, catching crews or just catching crews. Nothing is going on. And then we have the official, you know, serious relationship people. This is my boo and this is my boo. Auntie, why are you doing this to me? Like And stuff like that. Then we have the sugar daddies and we have the sugar mommies. <laughs> All of them are in Lagos. We have those, the guys that are like, they have their families abroad and they are here to hustle in Lagos and they tell you, well, my family is abroad, but you are here with me. It's with you and I. Just, just shift to drama. Huh? Story. Hey, that's another story for another day. Now, and the next one I want to talk about is that the facts. This is a fact. Lagos, okay. Lagos is expensive. But in as, in as much as Lagos is expensive, when, when, What did I just hear? In as much as Lagos is expensive, bear in mind that obviously there's always a particular, a particular place that suits your budget. I think Lagos is a place where the budget you have, you usually find it. <laughs> you usually find a place that has your budget. If it's an apartment you're looking for, we have your budget. If it's a, is it a, a restaurant for you to eat, if it's a restaurant for you to eat, places for you to hang out with your friends and all of that, we have your budget in Lagos. I think Lagos 
Yeah, Lagos has a budget for almost everybody. Okay? Yeah. But not the kind of budget where you say you want to use 1,000 naira to buy land. It's not that kind of budget I'm talking about. But yeah, Lagos has... Lagos is expensive. Even as it's expensive, I think your budget, you find it... You find it, but you might not like your kind of budget anyway. Have that in mind. Next up, the last but not the least, I think there are so many things to talk about in Lagos, but I just want to, I don't want to make this video so long, but Lagos is a place filled with opportunities. Like, I came to Lagos and I started presenting. I'm getting there, but yeah, I'm starting small and all of that, but Lagos is a place for opportunities, like, almost, Lagos is a place where you find your niche, especially if you're more of that, especially if you're more of that, you know, in the entertainment side, is here the you're planning to work in um i don't know like Lagos. i think lagos has every single niche especially that entertainment aspect when i say lagos is the house is the main location when it comes to entertainment like music drama everything the main the main location is in lagos whether you like it or yes, Lagos has a main location. Okay, I am coming from Port Harcourt. Okay, I love my city very much, but I tell you that Lagos is the ground square for entertainment. Okay, but yeah, I don't want to make this video so long, but yeah, these are the different things I found out. I'm still finding more things that really shock me every day, but if you're in Lagos, once you just get to one year like i've experienced my one year in lagos there are some things that won't shock you anymore you just be on the road you see people flying you don't have to be shocked <laughs> but yeah we've come to the end of this video i really had fun i love this video hope you guys love this video because i do I love this video make sure you like you comment you subscribe okay subscribe hit the notification bell to know when you you know we post i post a new video so you guys can watch hope you guys love this video and see you guys in my next one peace peace and love <laughs>